Hey guys, Iron Upcake here, back with the next installment in my Amnesia the Dark Descent walkthrough. In the last episode, I took you guys through the choir, somewhere over there. And we got the last of the ore pieces, and now we're going to go into the chancel to assemble them, right? Well, maybe not. You do want to go ahead and head into the chancel. Head up the stairs, but we've got a little surprise waiting for us at the top. I will note, well, there's a whole bunch of grunts out here. I'm just going to be blunt about it. You can delay their attack by going up here. Where the heck are the grunts? Where the heck are the grunts? Well, that was awkward. Anyway, when I, I swear this playthrough has just been so weird. Anyways, when you get to the top and open the door, there are supposed to be some grunts that spawn. I believe there are three of them. They will attack you. You cannot avoid them forever. If you jump on that little ledge I jumped up on, you can avoid them for a little while and laugh at them, and then you eventually have to die. Yeah. But they will take you down to the cells. You know, whether or not you avoid having them spawn like I somehow did. And a grunt will so politely wave at you. And then you wake up. You can bring on your lantern. Now clearly, we're not the kind to just sit around and die. So, grab that. We need to break this bar. Now, there are two ways you can get out of this cell. One of the ways is you can jump on this table, jump and then crouch, and you can land in this gap and then go out that way. It's a little bit quicker, but I'm going to do it this way. You want to make sure you get the bar again. Thank you, friend. And we're going to go ahead and break that wood. Just to show Alexander just how much we're going to stand around and die. Now, uh, first note, this is the first possible ending of the game. If you do just stand around and die, the game will end. But I will show that off in my endings video. For now, we're going to escape. And the shadow will growl at us because why not? Anyways, there's nothing in that cell. There's only the oil in the first one. So we can come in this. Grab this note. Left by a prisoner. And we've got some more oil back there. And there's a trigger. Probably should have warned you beforehand, but oh well. Too late. And then... One of the teleporting naked guys will appear. You can dance around on his corpse if you want to, but that's a little weird. There is, however, a tinderbox back here. And over there. And yet another cell. There's a laudanum, there's a bucket, and there's a tinderbox. And now we have all of the supplies we need. Now, just like with escaping the cell, there are two ways to get the key to this door that is locked. The key is in here. We can't reach it with our hands because, you know, we just can't. That is one resilient bottle. Now, the first way to get the key out is to use the iron bar in here and you'll push the key out, it falls out there. But, I'm going to do it the other way. Um... I think it's the other way. We have to flush the key out with water. And we got a wooden bucket in one of the rooms. We can use it on the rope. And then get out of the way of ourself. Fill the bucket up. Reel it back in.
Not so tough are you now? Anyways, you take the bucket of water, pour it in there, you see all the water, you get a free bucket to throw at stuff. With its ridiculous bucket physics. I don't think they put much time into calculating the physics for buckets. But, oh well. Anyways, now we have the key to escape, so we're just free and we can go on our merry way, right? Well, as per usual, the Shadow has other plans for us. So, when you open this door, run, don't stop. There's going to be a place where you can pick left or right. It's a random event, as far as I can tell. Uh, check one side. If it's not open, go to the other side. You've got enough time to do that, so don't worry too much. But close the door behind you. It slows down the shadow as it chases you. You don't have to move everything. You just have to move that. The random events area is right up here. And in that case, the left side got blocked off, but it has been the right side for me before. You just want to run. When you get to the water, jump through the water. You're a little bit faster that way. When you get to the stairs, just run again. And you're at the home stretch now. Up the stairs and out the door. And we're safe. That's probably one of the more nerve-wracking parts. I like the water part because you can't stop to think, you just have to keep moving. But, anyways, when you get here, there's a well that has a carrick in it. There's a tinderbox there, and a note that will trigger, I believe, the final vivid flashback. But I may be wrong about that. But you'll have Daniel talk about a trip to the farm. But they're not picking carrots. 18th of August, 1839. Tonight. We will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. And Just you're free to walk shadow. around while he's talking. Zimmerman, a dairy farm, lives with his wife and three children. You can't really get that close. What we've been learning through all of these flashbacks and through the story. From the beginning of the game, we knew that Daniel took an amnesia potion, but we didn't know why. And now we finally understand why he did that, because he did some very terrible things just in order to save himself. And in order to try to save his sanity, he tried to make himself forget. But anyways... Enough of that sentimental crap. Grab this tinder box because we like tinder boxes. And head on through. There are a couple spots where the shadow will inevitably hurt you. You just kind of have to suck it up. But we can just head on down the stairs. The three items we got after we left the door are pretty much all there is to get. Oh. 
And when you get out of that door before, there was a closed door here that was locked. It's not quite so locked anymore. And we see several instruments. We can play with some of them. But, you know. We're not going to waste too much time. We are going to make wires tonic because we have all of the ingredients. First, you want to go to the instrument on the right. Use the jar of blood on the handle. And turn on the burner. And, fun fact, this is magical. The gas for the burner is coming out of the table itself. You can turn this off or not, your call. So, next, we want to put the remains that we got from the Karenk in there. Then we want to put the incomplete tonic there as well, and it will teleport over that way. Pull that, we get a whole bunch of delicious green jello to fill up more of the tonic. Then we will use the incomplete tonic once again on that handle, and the poison gland on it as well, and then listen to that delicious sounding squish and get the completed tonic, finally, after all that work. So, we can leave the lab, head straight out the door. And Agrippa will talk about the laboratory that we just went through. So, you can stand around and listen and he'll talk about some other stuff. But we're going to go ahead and get the last item we need. Head on through this newly formed hole in the wall. Back to this corner over here and grab the bone saw. You might be wondering, well, why do we need a bone saw? Agrippa's tonic of magic and wonder is not quite so awesome as you might have originally thought. As the tonic begins to arrive, you'll be able to cut off my head without taking my life. Then... Yep, we're not gonna listen. Drink this and shut up. Quickly! Off with the head! Doesn't that sound fun? Bloop. Anyways, once you've got Agrippa's head, you can head on through here. And go straight up to the door to the chancel once again. And I promise you, this is the last time we will need to go in the chancel. But I'll do that in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped a few people. And if you like the video, be sure to show me by liking it. If you have anything to say about it, just throw me a message, leave a comment, whatever. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if all else fails, I do hope I at least helped you, even if you don't like it that much. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be the last video I do before... I actually show off all the different endings of the game, and there are four different endings, as I believe I said earlier in the cells. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye guys.